In this video, we're gonna be unboxing and building an Aussie classic icon of outdoor cooking, the Oz Pig. Hey folks, it's Ben from Smoking Hot Confessions here. I hope you're well wherever you are and you got that thin blue smoke rolling. In this video, we're gonna unbox and build a classic icon of Aussie outdoor lifestyle, the Oz Pig. These are absolutely fantastic units for cooking out in the bush, for taking outside, sitting on the deck. They're gonna warm that space and you can use it as a fantastic uh, cooking apparatus. So my good mate Tony from Oz Pig, he sent me one of their units and a whole bunch of their accessories. And today we're gonna to put them together and have a good play with them. Now my wife's away in Sydney for the weekend and it is blowing an absolute gale outside. So I've commandeered the dining room table and she's never gonna know. So we're using that as our workspace and I've got a collection of tools here that we're gonna use. So let's get into it. So that's a basic build of an Oz Pig. That's what comes in the box when you first buy it. We're gonna crack into the accessories in a minute, but let's just have a look at what comes in the box. So first of all, there's the Oz Pig unit itself. There's a pretty high chimney there that you can build in there. There's two different ways of putting that together depending on how you want moisture to travel there. There's two different plates here that you can use as a barbecue grill on the top, warming plates on the side. There's a grill that goes in the bottom there just to keep your coals up and keep, uh, help keep the oxygen circulating around the coals and the ash can fall through to the bottom. And there's a lid removal tool here. Now I've, I've got one of these with one of my camp ovens, but uh, there's one included with the Ozpig as well and it's useful for uh, moving these plates around. It also comes with this very handy little bag here. Now you saw me uh, unpack all that stuff out of the inside of that. So all that will pack back down, go back inside, and it'll go back in that bag. You can pop that bag in the boot of the car, in the back of the truck, tuck it into a caravan cupboard, and you can take that anywhere you're going. So, let's get stuck into these accessories. This guy is very interesting. He's the oven slash smoker attachment. He's going to go up here on the top. So this is the Oz Pig with the smoker now fully set up on it. What strikes me immediately is that it reminds me of a bullet smoker. You've got your fire down here in the bottom and a vertical chamber moving up through the top. And there is tons of stuff included. It's not just the chamber. So obviously it comes with its own chimney with a dampener across the top so you can control the vent on the top. It comes with this handy little plug on the back which you can uh, remove the chimney that's originally there 
put that over the back just to make sure that your heat and smoke aren't going to escape out the original chimney, but they'll be diverted up through the smoker. Next, let's have a look at the front. We've got a temperature gauge here, which is going to tell us, um, obviously, the temperature of the inside of the smoker. And it's very handily got different sections marked for whether you're doing baking, grilling or searing. Got some nice handles here on the outside securing the door in place with little high heat rubber grips on the end. And we've got a high heat safe handle on the front as well. Now opening it up, there's a surprising amount of flexibility inside here. It's got four different racks which you can put into five different places. It also comes with a water pan for uh, if, if you want to use it as a water smoker. Kind of looks like a pie dish to me, so I might be investigating greasing that and putting some cobbler in there or something. It also comes with two pizza stones, so you can get that fire good and hot, put those pizza stones in on top of the grills and do a few little pizzas while you're out in the bush. Very cool. Now with this much space in here as well, what you could do, grab a couple of meat hooks, put them in there, and you could very easily do a hanging leg of lamb or put a couple of uh, little racks of pork ribs in there, do something like that, making sure you've got the, uh, the pan in the bottom, just in case any, any meat falls down, and also to catch any juice. You wanna make sure you catch those juices so that uh, first of all, it doesn't fall into the fire and cause a fire, but then you can also catch the juices, mix them up in a gravy and pour it back over the meat. So good, so good. I thought so. Okay, here's another idea. See if you like this idea. Take a rack, put a rack in, put a couple of steaks in there. We're gonna do a reverse sear, for example. So you're gonna get that to a smoking temperature Put, the bar, put one of these warming dishes on the inside. There's still enough of a gap around there that the heat and smoke is going to get around there. You're going to get that delicious uh, low and slow on the steak. And then when you're ready, you're going to finish it off with a sear right there. How good's that? So there you have it. That's the smoker attachment for the Ozpig. Very well designed, very intriguing piece of gear. And I can't wait to take it outside and play with it and see what I can do with it. But let's move on now. Let's see what other accessories Tony sent me to have a play with. All right, so the next accessory I've got to have a look at here is the char grill plate and drip tray. This is going to be very cool for doing things like uh, flame grilled steaks and whatnot. Let's open it up and have a look. First thing you're going to do is you're going to insert the drip tray and then the cast iron grill goes in on top of that. The reason for the drip tray is so that when you're grilling on top here, you might be basting, marinating, what have you, you're not going to get any of that uh, overflow come down here and, uh, and make a mess on the outside of the hospital. As I said, this is a cast iron um, hot plate, so you're going to get some of those beautiful cast iron lines in your steaks and whatnot. And it's also got a hook on the back. So you can maneuver it around with your, with your special tool here. Being cast iron, you are going to have to take care of it the same as if it were a, uh, a camp oven or something similar. So just keep that in mind. It is going to produce a beautiful finish though. The flames are going to be directly underneath. That's going to be nice and hot. You're going to get some beautiful searing out there. That is going to be really fun. Okay, so the next bit of gear we're going to look at is the Ozpig diffuser. That's going to sit on top here and it's going to spread the heat evenly across the top so that when you've got one of your plates on there, it's going to spread that heat evenly across the plate. So let's pull it out and check it out. And folks, it's as easy as that. The diffuser pan just sits on the top underneath. And as I said, it's just going to even out that heat across the the whole base of this whole plate here. It's gonna be very handy for making sure that your cooks are even and consistent. Now this next accessory I'm super excited about. 
it is the Oz Pig Rotisserie Kit. Now I love a good rotisserie. Something like a bit of chicken or a nice piece of pork, send it around and around and around. Particularly if it's gonna be sitting here with a live wood fire directly underneath. That is gonna be sensational. Let's unbox it, put it together and see what it looks like. Okay, folks, so here's the spit kit set up on top of the Ozpig. I think this is an awesome idea because it uses the existing lugs here for mounting the attachments. It's got this heat safe handle here on the end of the spear, which a lot of other spit kits I've used haven't had, and that has been a problem. So I think that's a great idea. It's got some offset mounted uh, prongs. So it's gonna get, rather than be it, uh, spearing in equal points, it's going to be slightly off center, which is going to give you a more balanced grip on the meat. It's battery powered, so you can take it out in the bush. And it's got these extra lugs here to replace the ones that you've just lost. So you can very easily have your meat spinning up here on top and then have other different side dishes cooking here on the side. That's a top idea. So there you have it, that's the spit kit. I love playing with rotisseries, so I'm looking forward to getting onto that. You'll see that there's not a whole lot of room here, so you're gonna be doing things like maybe a, like a half leg of lamb, uh, a chicken would be fantastic, and it's gonna be cooked directly over the wood fire here, so that is gonna just be so delicious. All right, folks, the final thing to look at is some leg extensions. These are a great idea because this is quite low to the ground, and if you're like me, you've got a little bit of funny problems in the back, you're gonna want that up just a little bit higher. It's also gonna mean your cooking surfaces are gonna be higher, and also, it's going to put that chimney stack higher as well. So if you're sitting down in your camp chair, the chimney's going to be an extra little bit higher. It means the smoke's going to be up blowing away from you and not hitting you in the face as you're sitting there in your camp chair. That's going to be cool. Okay, so inside the box, there are four of these extension legs. They screw into the bottom of those ones. I'm not going to put them on today because it's going to put my chimney out through the roof. My wife really won't be very happy with that. Uh, but... They're going to screw in there. It's going to give me an extra 20 centimeters of height overall to where my cooking temperatures are, which is going to save my back a lot, which is going to be really important for me. One thing I will point out is that there are no rubber caps on the feet. So if you're using this at home on a wooden deck, you're going to want to grab some of these little uh, furniture dollies, some of these little furniture uh, coasters, if you like, and just put them down there. I've been using them today to protect the dining room table. And then when I've been having it on the floor to protect the hardwood floor as well. So grab yourself a couple of them and you're going to have some good times. So there you have it, folks. We've unboxed and built the Ozpig. And I want to give you a couple of my thoughts about it now. First of all, it's a small unit, but it's very thick and it's very solid. And because of the way it's designed with the horizontal cooking chamber like that, it's going to radiate a lot of heat out. As I said before, I love the tall chimney, particularly if I'm out camping, because one thing I don't like about camping is sitting around the fire and having the smoke blow in my face. Having the chimney is gonna put the smoke up further into the air, and hopefully I won't be choking on the smoke. So that's gonna be cool. Um, it's got quite a decent sized fire chamber in there, so you're gonna be able to build a hearty little fire in there, and it will run on three types of fuel. It will run on timber, briquettes and lump charcoal. So depending on what you're cooking, you're gonna be able to do different things. We've had a look at these at these uh, warming plates slash barbecue plates. They can sit on the side, they can sit on top, you can cook directly on it or you can put it on here and put a pot or something and keep it warming, which is a very great idea. You can grab your camp oven, sit your camp oven on the top. There's just so many different things that you can do with it. It's a really good bit of kit. So now moving on to the accessories. Let's start with the smoker attachment. So as I said earlier, the smoker attachment is tops. It's a great idea. It's a fantastic addition to the Ozpig. It pretty much turns your Ozpig into a vertical bullet style smoker. So you can put in some briquettes, some charcoal in there and uh, some little chunks of wood for, for the smoke, for the flavor. You can also keep your two warming trays on here. So you could have a, a camp oven with some pit beans in that one some different veggies in here, maybe roasting some potatoes in this one. While up here, you're cooking what have you. 
I love the fact that it can also be used in as, as an oven. And it's also got this great seal on the inside of the door here, which is going to give you consistent heat, which is going to help with that oven function. So you could bake desserts in there. You could bake breads in there. Um, I'm looking forward to doing all sorts of different stuff in there. It's going to be really fascinating. You could use that. You could put probably three whole chickens in there, one on each different platform, roast them all at the same time at a high heat. You'd have chicken in 45 minutes and be able to feed three families. So it's really adaptable, really flexible, and it does add to that chimney height there. And if you were concerned about that, you could add the other chimney bits on top of that and really put that smoke right up out of the way there. Really exciting about this is the pizza stones. Get the fire good and hot. Get those pizza stones in there nice and hot, and you're going to be able to cook yourself some delicious fresh pizzas in the bush. So good. We also talked about the diffuser to put in underneath the, uh, the top of the fire hole there. It's going to give you the even heat underneath these plates. It's going to give you much more consistent cooking. That's a must have. We looked at the cast iron grate and the drip tray to keep the outside of the unit clean and also the uh, get, get you those delicious tasty sear marks that you're looking for. And because it's nice and low, it's going to be directly over the fire. So beautiful high heat searing, very delicious. We looked at the spit kit that goes on top there. Very handy bit of gear. I really like how it's been put together. The way that the prongs are slightly offset. The, the, uh, the, the heat safe handle here is going to be very cool. And just the way it all fits together and battery powered so you can use it out in the bush. Top thinking. And the last thing we looked at was those leg extensions. So all up, if you're into outdoor cooking, you've really got to check out the Ozpig. It can do pretty much everything except wash the dishes, that's on you. So you can roast, you can grill, you can smoke, you can hang things vertically for that kind of that, that hanging roast as well, almost like a, like a drum smoker. Um, you've got all the different heights of chimneys, you've got the different plugs so you can control the airflow, the, uh, the chimney dash there. You can even put that on, on top of your, uh, your main chimney here, take that section, put that on the back here, and you could then control that at the back as well. If you were having, say, a camp oven on the on here and you wanted to control that temperature of the fire using the vent there. Very adaptable, very flexible, very well-built bit of gear, and it's all Australian-owned and manufactured. So if you're like me and you're into the great outdoors but you still love your food, you've got to get yourself an Ozpig. You're going to be able to have delicious food out in the bush when you want it and a massive array of variety. So check them out, Ozpig Smokers, and tell them that uh, Ben from Smoking Hot Confessions sent you their way. Till next time, take care of each other and keep on queuing.